ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் அகெயின் இன் அவர் ஹைட்ரோபானிக் சீரீஸ் ஐ எம் ரஜினிகாந்த் சதானி ஹைட்ரோபானிக் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபவுண்டர் அண்ட் சிஓ ஆஃப் ரெடோன் க்ரோ டுடே வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஹைட்ரோபானிக் ஃபார்மிங் அண்ட் சாயில் ஃபார்மிங் மீன்ஸ் ஹைட்ரோபானிக் வர்சிஸ் சாயில் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் த பெனிஃபிட் இன் அ ஹைட்ரோபானிக் கம்பேர்ட் டு சாயில் in hydroponic we can uh, reuse or recycle the fertilizer but in soil we cannot reuse or recycle the fertilizer whatever we uh, provide in a soil uh, we don't know how much plant is consuming and how much going in a water table or in a waste so first benefit is a fertilizer we, we can recycle another one is a budgeting in hydroponic we can make a proper budget because it's a one kind of small factory or one kind of machine or you can say plantation but in a soil we cannot uh, or do a fixed budget because any time problems came from a soil uh, disease or so insect or pest came from coming from soil or sometimes due to variable parameters in a soil and a soil disease the budget is a not effective uh, assurance of root zone aeration uh root zone aeration is a very critical parameters or one of the critical parameters to grow a plant in a soil if we provide lot, lots of water or in a rainy season a root zone uh, aeration is not possible but in hydroponic root zone aeration is possible and uh, we are doing properly in each and every hydroponic system water circulation water circulation is again not possible in a soil but in hydroponic we can use a re, reuse same water continuously or we can circulate a water with a fertilizer uh utilization of vertical space in a soil vertical sp- uh, space we cannot utilize or it is a difficult to utilize a vertical space but in hydroponic uh, we can uh, make a arrangement to grow a vertical plant or so when we are using vertical system we can grow 10 to 8 times more plant just like uh, if we discuss about strawberry in 1 acre 4 in 4000 square meter or 1 acre uh, people are growing 25000 plant in a soil but in hydroponic uh, we can grow 2 lakhs plant or 200000 plant monitoring and control of ph ph is a one uh, another one critical parameters to grow a plant that we will discuss in our upcoming episode but there is a very difficult to control a ph in a specific root in a root zone area so in a soil ph control is very difficult and particularly in a root zone area but in hydroponic we can change or control ph very easily same tds that is difficult to ch- uh, control the tds in a soil but in hydroponic uh, we can change the tds we can control the tds and that is very easy tds is again a, uh, one of the parameters that we are maintaining during hydroponic farming that we will discuss in upcoming episode weeding and pest problem again we, pest problem is uh, sometimes possible in hydroponics we are lots of problem due to uh, uh, soil borne disease so many insect and many pests coming from soil but in hydroponic we are not using soil so uh, uh, weeding and pest problem we can reduce but pest problem almost we can eliminate in a hydroponic uh, we always say hydroponic is a one kind of factory so yield prediction is a very easy and it is a possible but in a soil we don't know uh, where problem is come from sometimes come from soil or if in open farming there are lots of variable like heavy rain like that but in hydroponic we are doing always the protected cultivation that's why yield prediction is a uh, very easy in short we can say nutrient reuse recycle so low production cost uh, vertical space utilization means in hydroponic we can utilize vertical space so we uh, in this case we can uh, put 2 to 10 times more plant Uh, compared to soil in hydroponic we uh, we are controlling almost all parameters to grow a plant that's why we are getting fast growth constant quality and quantity and uniformity yield prediction is very difficult because there are no control in, on a soil parameters even heating and cooling is again a difficult in a soil farming in hydroponic we can heat the nutrient solution if require or we can make a cooling arrangement to cool the hydroponic nutrient so in this case 
if we are using heating or cooling we can maintain or control the temperature in a plant root zone area but in soil sometimes nematode problem fusarium wilt pythium problem uh, phytophthora these are the disease or virus coming from a soil but in hydroponic virus infection we can eliminate tds again if we say tds uh, in a soil in a soil it is difficult to control a tds because there are lots of things available in a soil like a slate uh, plant root leaves or, or rotten leaves industrial waste sewage uh, fertilizer runoff rocks and, and pesticide these all parameters is changing tds in a soil but in hydroponic these kind of parameters will not affect in a uh, water tds so water tds is again a diff uh, critical parameters that we will discuss in upcoming series in this picture we can say a soil grown plant is a very small and root is big because plant is not getting uniform water uniform uh, uniform nutrient so plant is uh, plant is spreading its root its root to get maximum water and nutrient but in hydroponic uh, plant is getting water and nutrient very easily from hydroponic system so it's require less energy to or they are diverting maximum energy to its fruit flower and branches so we are getting more production in a hydroponic compared to soil thanks again rajinikanth sadani